last night, the first group we entertainment started, and there was all these different challenges that people had to go through. It got everyone involved and it got everyone engaged, even though most of us made an agent out of ourselves. Like, but it was like a wee icebreaker for the whole camp. Like everyone did it together and everyone was involved. Like, I I done an activity where I had to put tan mitts on my feet and rub it on a wee boy's back, so we were covered in tan, and it was all just a little a row of boys lying on the ground. Some had the chilies and uh, brown sauce and really disgusting thing. But there was an Italian and nappy and you had to lick, lick the Nutella to the nappy. It was a game. And busting balloons with their bums. <laughs> it really brought crack instead of sitting in groups, even though they're good crack. Like everyone was just bouncing about and enjoying themselves. It was good to near ones as well because like, they were all going, what, what is it about our city? Like, <laughs> what are you all on about? And we were just saying, just wait and wait. And everybody was just excited. And it was really good to see because all the year ones and all really came into the shell last night. I didn't see one shy person at all. So the day is day two of the summer camp, and today, this afternoon, we went kayaking. It was really exciting because I've never done it before, and I just wanted to do it. I was scared as well. Noel was a gig trying to get us to do stuff, but we really couldn't because of the wind and stuff was coming towards us. But we tried to do a race and I had loads of fun doing that. Oh, it was very challenging because you had to communicate. Because if one person, like, you have to go in the same motion to get the actual kayak to go forward. Because if one person's going to the left, one person's going to the right, it's going to go two outward ways. As soon as we got in the water, most of our boats tipped like because we're not really good at it. But then we got better at it. I was in a kayak with Donovan. She started messing the boat, she was at the front, she was sitting swaying the boat in the next minute, she tippled it. And we took us about half an hour to get back into it. And then Noel had to come over and help us get back in. Well, I got to meet loads of new friends, like loads of people I've never talked to before. We even shared the, the same kayak and all, and tippled each other in. So that's how we became friends, and now we're still talking and all. Now, I think the kayaking was important because it just brought you together, with, brought you closer with people, and just helped your team build them. So after the kayak, I went down to the harbour and Joe found a wee small beach off to the left. So I went down there, he put on a wee bit of tune and we just sat there and just talked about how we felt this year compared to last year. We wrote letters to ourselves last year and we all got a wee space in the beach and read them back to ourselves and reflected on the past year and like we set ourselves goals. So we seen what goals we achieved or what we didn't achieve and like how far we've came from last year down the camp. It's crazy to think of how much that I've done to make myself proud and that I've got selected for Africa because that was my main goal in the letter. Now we're just after reading letters that uh, our youth leaders have given us and it's crazy to think that they spent their time to make a, just to show us how special we are. One of my goals was to enjoy the rest of the Irish City camp and watch it out last year because I loved it. And the rest of the programme and the year one programme was amazing. And my other, one of my other goals was to go on to the South Africa BDB team, which I did achieve, and I can't wait to go with my year two group. When there were year ones, they wrote a letter themselves, outlining sort of goals, ambitions for the year ahead, what they want to do, what they're hoping they aim to do over the year. And basically they were giving them letters today. And then the staff who work closely have a, great, a, a better relationship with the young people, then wrote a letter to those young people outlining how proud they are. I think the rest of the team were just completely speechless. We all can't believe how much we've done ourselves proud throughout the camp and how much it's made us better people. At the minute, we're all, we've all drew ourselves a square with our names in it and we're going around each other's squares and telling each other how we feel about one another by writing either a word or a symbol just to show each other how much that we're, we're proud of each other. Being here is a year too, like I really hope to get more confidence and I hope to challenge myself more and 
participate in everything because last year I didn't take part fully. Like I would have like hid behind all my friends and all. But this year like I'm like I'm more boss. Like I've just step up and do it myself without waiting on my friends in the first. Before I came down here last year I didn't have any confidence or anything. And to see now that Joe's told me that I've grown so much confidence and that he's so proud of me makes me feel so good about myself. Um, what I love about our city is you can be yourself and like down in the camp it just has this buzz and like feeling and like you wouldn't get back home or anywhere else and it's just the people who you're surrounded by that make it the, like even better and makes it so special. Oh, when you come down here it's brilliant, completely buzzing, everything's like you don't really care about anything, you've no servers off on your phones, you're not checking social media, you're just getting on with whoever's here, just doing whatever you can. Well, for people on Beyond Camp, I guess here, they're missing out. I'd highly recommend to join our city, come down here. Just makes the summer even better. The positivity down here is still really strong and everyone's just loving it. Like, you just think it was a good day out there. We're still running about in it, I don't care. So being part of the Our City programme the past year, the standout points have been, like, making friendships with the other people in the cross community. Like, all the year two group, we're just so close now and we're like a wee family and, I can't wait to like share more like special experiences like just like down here like in Africa or the rest of the camp like it's just special. What I'm looking forward to most about the rest of the camp is to grow more friendships because I've seen how much friendships have grew last time and just to see all the year ones enjoy themselves as much as we have. It's gonna be okay